I'm Mark Kaiser, and this is North American Hunter. On this week's episode, North American Hunter editor Gordy Cron. He travels all the way to the Dark Continent for his chance at one of the big five, the Cape Buffalo. You're watching North American Hunter. Part of hunting Africa is not just the hunting experience, but sharing it with someone. We are North American hunter, but it's really nice to be able to go out and see the world and do different things. I mean, everybody dreams about going to Africa. I don't know if everybody realizes what a magical place Africa is. And it's not just that it's such a game rich environment. It's really hunting at its most primal roots. I think every hunter owes it to himself to experience Africa. Finally back in Africa. Uh, this time I brought a couple of Rugers. Actually, I brought three Rugers with me. Uh, Ken, you sent these guns a few weeks back. I've been working with them. Tell me what I got here. Well, you have the guide gun here. This is in 375 Ruger. It's a 20 inch barrel and stainless. And you have the Magnum Hunter over here on a Hogue stock and a 300 Win Mag. 20 hours on a plane, I think we better check the zero. Definitely. I've known Ken for more than 20 years. Uh, last time we hunted together, we were chasing pheasants in North Dakota. This time we're in South Africa chasing Cape Buffalo. You probably know Cape Buffalo are one of the big five. One of the big five dangerous game animals in Africa. And rightfully so. These are ornery critters. They just as soon spit on you as look at you. And these are tough, tough animals. And it's the reason why people really gun up when they're going after Cape Buffalo. You want to put them down and you want to keep them down. Because if you don't, they're coming for you. It's the National Geographic that I read growing up in the 50s. I mean, it's the things that I never thought I'd get to see. Now, as we were coming up from Polokwane, and quite a ride, it was, like, it was like three hours or something, and almost getting a little immersed in the environment, and you know, I'm back in Africa, and here we go again and such. And when we got closer and closer to the lodge, I just kind of was kind of visualizing almost like what's gonna happen and such like that. And we pull in here, and it's like, okay, this is the beginning. Well, being the buddy he is, Ken let me go first. So I was up to bat. We climbed way up on a, a big ridge and did a lot of glassing. We probably weren't up there, I don't know, an hour or so, and we saw some buffalo coming through. And let me tell you, my heart was jumping. Uh, we did not get a shot from up above. There was just too much cover. We couldn't get a clean shot at the animal. We went down and started working our way through that thick brush, trying to find that buffalo. So we're sneaking along. Our tracker, Terry Bona, and our guide, Ben, they're just doing a great job of staying on the sign. And I've just got my head on a swivel trying to see this buffalo. Finally, we come out into a small clearing, and there he is. There's my buffalo. Hey, there he's behind the bush. Right, he's, he's moving okay, to, the left. to the left. No shot. I got him. Behind the shoulder. I got him. Take him. Take him. Take him. And I saw him buckle really hard. I jacked another shell in, but he was gone just like that. But I felt really confident that I'd put the bullet where I needed to. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot, man. <laughs> I couldn't believe how fast that happened. I know, it's just all of a sudden there. Um, and this thick brush, you know, if you catch one of these in the open right now, from what I've seen so far, it's really a gift just to catch a lone bull in the open like that. Man, I'm still shaking from the adrenaline. What a beautiful bowl. It is, and let's get some pictures taken and create some memories here. Perfect, perfect. Gordy got his, now it's my turn. North American Hunter is brought to you by Cuddyback. Don't get blanked, get a Cuddyback. Mossberg, built rugged, proudly American. Get your Peak Real Tree hat details at peakauto.com. New supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. 
and by Federal Premium Ammunition. One shot says it all.